and we're back to doing more ironing and ironing and ironing. These did not press out very well. I might have to redo them. Nicer. Again, I'm going to be at this for a while. <laughs> and I've started cutting up the edges to make my circles look better here. And we just have to snip as close to the center here as we can and make little triangles all throughout these. I started doing this so late at night because the cat went to sleep, but she woke right up. She just hasn't come sit on here yet. So try and get as much as I can before she plops. This is time consuming and I'll probably need to vacuum after this. But that's part of the cosplay. <laughs> so I'm doing a skirt test before I sew up the purple here. I want to make sure it still fits and it gets covered. As you can see I've got my pleats on and I've ironed them out the best I can. They don't really want to cooperate. <laughs> but it looks like I can close the circle and get it on here. Time to close this thing and get it done with. Oops, it's trying to escape me. And here I am starting the last layer of skirt. I had to run another pink bobbin because I like to use pink so much I run it out. <laughs> Ooh, why is this stuck? Okay. This is a weird fabric, but the color worked. So I'm just going with it. <laughs> because this is such a wide skirt on the hoop. I had to cut it into four separate sections, which means I have quite a few of these to go through and then I have to sew them together again and then make sure the sizing's perfect because I didn't want to buy crap tons of fabric. There's not much left, so hopefully I don't need more. Otherwise, I have to go buy more yards because <laughs> unfortunately the store I went to, you can only buy it by the yard. But it's $3.99 a yard, so pretty good price for fabric. Especially the shiny stuff I like. A bit of an obsession with shiny things, I guess. Shiny and fuzzy are my favorite kinds of fabric. I mean, they look nice. <laughs> so I'll be at this for a while, then I'll be ironing, pinning, and then putting it together again and making my two skirts and doing the next sort of scallops that I did with all the other pieces. Long process. Okay, so I've got the pink layer pinned on here loosely so I can get the size of it right. Clearly I cut it a little too big because I wanted extra. So now I'm going to size it and get the pieces together after I've done half of it here. I went through the first layering. And the other side is of course too big too. So those are going to be the other two pieces I have to sew together. And I'll have to do this to the other layer too. And so far it's looking good. Maybe a little long, but I'm going to have the scallops there, so it's going to come up quite a bit. But the skirt is looking pretty good. I love the way it moves. <laughs> so I'm using a different template this time. It should be a little bigger. 
and hopefully that will give me a nicer looking petal on this last layer. I want it to look a little different. <laughs> so I'm just putting on the template and then I'll be back to sewing. And it's going to take a while because this is a big layer. <laughs> I can't really see the pencil there. So I'm on to sewing scallops here. It's going a little tougher just because it's a little harder to control with this much fabric. But I am getting it done. <laughs> and rotate around. Sometimes they're cooperating and I don't have to keep stopping and pivoting, but some aren't. Oh, I'm gonna have to pivot this one. Alright, so now I'm back to cutting things out and I'm working the best I can around my problem cat who appeared out of nowhere. She gets a little pissy when I try and move her sometimes, so I'll just sort of encourage her to go off later or maybe do some vacuuming when I need to get to that part. I'm cutting around them, and I'm cutting in my little usual triangles. Well, they don't really look like triangles, but they're as close as I can get them <laughs> without cutting stitches. <laughs> Last time I had to kick her off twice, so we'll see about this one. Depends on her mood sometimes. Oh, there she goes. Ah, success. So vacuum does not have to come out. <laughs> but this is pretty time consuming, and I'll be sore after doing this. So I'll probably have to take a break. Even if I do this on the ironing board or something where I'm standing upright, it's still pretty time consuming and painful to do. Break time soon. <laughs> okay, the pink layer's partially on by just testing it out before I sew it again. And you can see I've got a little bigger scallops here, which I really like the looks of, but this fabric also really took to the scallops nicely. So, overall, I'm happy with, so far, what the skirt's doing. I just need to permanently attach it. <laughs> All I can hear is the pins when I move. <laughs>